locking surgical targeting scanners onto the isotope probe. Initiating separation sequence. Energizing. This, this was the moment that Captain Catherine Janeway was destroyed. Not in a meta sense, not in a bad writing kind of way. No, in fact, it is because the writing in the third act of this episode is superb, and the performance given by both the victim and his murderer are on point. Let's just get into it. Logic clearly dictates that the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Before we go too far, let me go ahead and address one of the most common retorts that is going to be in the comments about this entire situation, even though I am completely about to destroy it. I'll admit, it is understandable why someone would have this argument, but the argument itself is insanely dumb, especially when you break it down. First, say what you will about Discovery, but at least they take pot shots at sayings that honestly don't stand up to scrutiny. Did your ancestors not coin the phrase, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few? When the people of Vulcan welcomed the Romulans home, we were forced to confront centuries of mistrust and brutality on both sides. Over time and with much effort, we earned the wisdom to know when to let go of maxims and proverbs. Let's go ahead and assume that what Spock said is sage advice, for the sake of argument. Let's assume that it's the greatest thing that has ever happened since toast bread. The USS Voyager is stuck on the wrong side of the Delta Quadrant. This means that food and energy come at a premium. So tell me, dear viewer, which is better when we look at the few versus the many? Two people consuming resources or just one person? And not just that, my dear lovelies, there's more. You see, not only is it just one person that would be consuming all of this instead of two, but Tuvix does a better job than both of them. I wanted to work on that proximity detector glitch in the security subroutine. And how's it going? I managed to correct it. Tuvok said it could take up to 10 days to check out all the possible problems. How'd you fix it so fast? I had a hunch. He is better than Tuvok and Neelix. That's not me saying that, by the way. That's Janeway. So, someone who does the job better and consumes less resources, well, when we look at the needs of the many outweighing the needs of the few, right now, I guess, well, there's really only one answer. And in the end, all I got to say is, if you want to debate me about Star Trek lore, fuck around and find out. So with that out of the way, why do I say, quite rightly, that this entire situation destroys Janeway? Because... Honestly, in-universe, everything that Janeway does is absolutely horrific, at least in this episode. She uses a man, taking advantage of his skills, keeping him on the fence, not knowing if he's going to live or die, and then... Security to the bridge. Commander, you gotta stand by and do nothing while she commits murder! Doesn't anyone see that this is wrong?! When he absolutely begs for his life, she overrides the doctor, who states that he will do no harm, and kills this man, all to save her friends. This is absolutely in character for Janeway. She has promised to get her crew members home, get them home safely, by the by. And at this point, she's failed that goal, at least for some. There are those that will never get home, and this weighs on her heavily. We also know, by multiple episodes, that she is willing to sacrifice others for her crew to get home, to survive. That's not to say that she does it easily, or is blasé about it, but all the same, if push comes to shove, her crew comes first. So the murder of an innocent individual to save those under her care? I mean, it's obvious that she would do this. I know that she would, because she does in the episode. Which, by the way, is interesting for a woman that is actually pro-life on the spectrum. You intend to let it mature? The alternative is to pull the plug. And I'm not prepared to do that, not unless I have to. What I'm proposing is the only defense we have against that possibility, short of murder. And that's an order I'd prefer not to give. Oh, the irony! It's too much! So fine, Janeway would kill people to get her crew home. That just sounds like bad Trek writing at a basic level. Starfleet officer kills people so that her crew can get home. It's not exactly what I'd call on theme, but when we go back to what I said before, that it is extremely well-written and well-acted, 
I mean, you see, whether they meant to or not, the writers of Star Trek Voyager wrote what would be considered the tragedy of Captain Catherine Janeway. She was a science officer that was put into an impossible situation and forced to do things that she would ultimately never be able to live with. This is proven when she rewrites the very fabric of time itself to ensure an outcome that, well, at least some people that she loved would survive the lives of the children of the others be damned. Quite frankly, her storyline, save for some bad episodes, is a masterpiece. Which is why it causes so much controversy. If the character was always schlock, then nobody would care. But it's not. It's really well done. Just like the third act of the episode where she kills Tuvix, especially the last 10 to 15 minutes. Everyone, and I mean everyone, is just on point. Tuvix plays off of the other characters divinely. The Doctor's stern denial is palpable, and Janeway, when she does what she does, how this impacts her, just watching her walk away, we all hate what she did, but we understand it and honestly want to be there for her. In my opinion, she acts like someone who would be suffering from PTSD and is slowly losing her sanity, to the point that she'll be psychotic when it comes to the Borg, but again, that's another episode for another time. Kate Mulgrew brings her A-game to this episode, and she kills a person who just wanted to live so that she could get Tuvok back. I don't think she cared as much about Neelix, but that's just my opinion. Tuvix was a person. Accident or not, he was a living being, and she chose him over two people. Now you can justify that by saying those two people didn't want to die, but again, it's still murder. Killing one person to save two is still murder you're still killing somebody. And because of that, and because of other episodes, Janeway will never fully be a hero. And that was never what the writers intended, but it's still such a good story. But these are my opinions. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next Lore Reloaded. It's good to have you back.